Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna make a simple but delicious squash casserole. This is a really quick and easy uh, casserole to put together. You only need a few ingredients, but it's absolutely delicious. It's one of my favorites. So here are the list of ingredients you're gonna need for this. Not very many at all. You're gonna need some butter. You're gonna need some salt and pepper to taste. You're gonna need probably two sleeves of Ritz crackers. You're gonna need a large can of cream of mushroom soup. You're gonna need about two cups of shredded cheese. You're gonna need one large onion, and I just dice mine into uh, moon shapes, uh, but you can dice them or slice them however you guys like. I just do mine like that. And then you're gonna need about four or five, just depending on how large your casserole is, some sliced uh, yellow squash. And I've sliced mine uh, about that thick. Um, just make sure that you guys clean them really well. And that's it guys, that's all you need to make this delicious squash casserole. So let's get cooking. All right guys, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and turn our stove on medium high. Uh, we wanna get this nice and hot. So probably need about two tablespoons of butter. I'm gonna go ahead and put that in here to start uh, melting. All right, so I'm gonna let that melt. We're gonna go ahead and add our uh, zucchini first. They take longer to cook. We're gonna start uh, sauteing them, cooking them down. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and add a nice uh, pinch or two of salt and some fresh ground black pepper. And we're gonna let this cook down um, for a couple minutes before we add our onions. So we're gonna let this cook down for a couple minutes and uh, and then we'll be back. Okay guys, that's looking great. Starting to cook down a lot. They can hear it. They can see the juice it's making uh, between the yellow squash and the butter. All right, this has gotten a good head start. So we're gonna go ahead and add the onions. And again, I just uh, diced mine into little uh, moons, but it doesn't matter. However you guys like your onion. Again, we're going to season it. Some salt and a little freshly ground black pepper. Looks great. Give that a nice toss with the yellow squash. All right, perfect. So again, we're gonna go ahead and let this cook down and we'll check it in a minute or two. We'll be back guys. Okay guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and give this another stir. Looks good, it smells good already. I love yellow squash. looks great. So now at this point what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and uh, partly cover it so it cooks down a lot faster and we'll check on it. Um, I'm going to give this another two to three minutes. So we'll be back. Okay guys, it's been a couple more minutes. Yeah, these look great. Nicely cooked down and get nice and soft and that's what we want. Not soggy. Uh, but definitely cooked down and soft. Yeah, that's perfect. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the stove off. And um, I'm gonna let this sit for a couple minutes. Cool down just a little bit. And uh, we'll work on our next step. All right guys, so what I did here was I just went and took my Ritz crackers and put them in my little food processor. We're gonna go ahead and pour that in here. And it was uh, exactly two sleeves. Let's 
good enough. And then I have my uh, melted butter um, that we're going to go ahead and put in our Ritz cracker mix um, in a second. So I'm going to leave that over here. And then what I have here is my can of cream of mushroom soup, my shredded cheese. And then what I did was uh, just got a casserole dish and just lightly uh, buttered the bottom and the sides. All right, so all we're going to do is we're going to take our delicious yellow squash and our cream of mushroom soup. And we're going to dump the whole can in there. It's great. And then we're going to give this a nice mix. And we want the juices in there, so that's perfect. We didn't have to drain uh, the juices out. We want the juices in there. And this way it won't be dry. So you just want to give it a nice, quick mix just to incorporate all the cream of mushroom with the uh, squash and onions. Okay, then all you're going to do is take your casserole dish and just pour it in your casserole dish. And just spread it all around, making it even. And I promise you guys, you're going to absolutely love this. It's such a simple, quick thing to put together, and it's so delicious. Uh, me and my older daughter absolutely love this. We can eat any kind of vegetables. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to make our Ritz cracker crumbs. That's about two tablespoons of uh, melted butter, and then my Ritz crackers um, that I've just used in my little uh, food processor to break them up. If you don't have a food processor, uh, just go ahead and uh, you could always uh, put them in a baggie and uh, just crumble them up. You could use uh, a rolling pin, works really well. So just give it a nice mix, incorporating all the cracker and butter together so it's like sand. That looks great. And then all you're going to do is, I'm not even going to use that, I'm going to use my hand, they're clean, is you're going to take and just sprinkle it right on top, covering the whole top. These crackers smell good with the butter. Perfect. That's good enough. Okay, and then all we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and preheat our oven to 400 degrees. Uh, go ahead and take your shredded cheese and we're going to put that right on top of the Ritz cracker crumbs. And this is going to go in the oven for about 20-25 minutes, um, but we'll check it in the 20-minute uh, mark. And what we're looking for is the cheese to be a nice uh, golden brown and nicely melted. That looks good enough. Alright guys, so I'm going to go ahead and put this in the oven. Again, 400 degrees, 20-25 uh, minutes. We'll look at it in the 20-minute mark. So we'll be back guys. All right, guys, so mine was in the oven for exactly 20 minutes, and look how beautiful this is, guys. And the cheese is nicely melted, nice golden brown, everything is cooked perfectly. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this sit uh, for a couple minutes, and then I'll go ahead and scoop some on a plate and show you guys. All right, guys, so it's been about five minutes. I'm going to go ahead and 
plate me a little bit so I can show you guys what it looks like. I can't wait. Like I said, this is one of my favorites. Look at that, guys. All right, guys, this one's for you. So I'm going to go ahead and taste a little bit. I know it's going to be hot. Make sure I get a little bit of everything. Mmm. That's really good, guys. And here comes Jasmine, my little, my little puppy wanting some. That's it, guys. That's all you do to make this delicious casserole. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I definitely enjoyed making it for you guys. If you liked it and you want to see more of my recipes, don't forget to like and subscribe and put your notifications on so you guys don't miss any of my videos. And I'm going to go finish, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.